What's up, your damn gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful gamers. Welcome back to Role Playing Games. In this merry old corner where we like to discuss about RPGs. Today's video, we're going to be showcasing how to get this armor that I am having <laughs> right here, which is the Netflix next gen armor update. Uh, so, yeah, first, let's go through what do we have to do to get this armor. The very first thing that you need to do to get this armor is to travel right here. I'm not going to be showing anything from the quest on itself because yeah you can discover that by yourself but this is the closest place that you would have to go to start the quest. It is a quest and is a very short interesting quest. Different outcomes like always but uh, yeah this is where you start the quest. After you are done with the quest you're going to be required to travel to Kaer Morhen. On Kaer Morhen you're going to follow this specific path that I have right here. And uh, yeah, basically the diagrams that you need will be right here. Now, that being said, you do have to craft the gear. You do have to craft the armors. There's three different variants. The one that I am showing you uh, at the moment, at the start of the video, the one that I'm showing you right now, is the very first variant. This is a level 20. So let's take a look at the stats and we're going to be moving on from there. I'm not going to talk about, about too much the stats of the later ones because at the end of the day there are just the very same stats but increased on the level. What changes is the appearance of them. So as for the weapons for the level 20 Forgotten Woven Steel Sword we have Sign Intensity, Adrenaline Point Gain two slots. For the Forgotten uh, Woven silver, silver Sword we have Sign Intensity and Adrenaline Point Gain. Uh, I, I'm not mentioning like the Critical Hit Damage Bonus, Critical Hit Chance, uh, chance to Cause Bleeding Experience from Monsters because that's basically what most of the weapons usually tend to, to have. At least the crafted gear for the schools. What is very interesting though, is that uh, there seems to be a bug with the update. I do not know if I'm the only one that has it, but as you can see right here, the bonuses are not... Oh, items must... yeah, forget about it. Just forget about it, it should be on Grandmaster. Yeah, never mind about that. As for the armor, we have attack power, adrenaline point gain, and art sign intensity and ear then sign intensity and sign intensity as for the bonuses once you upgrade this thing to grandmaster this is going to increase the duration of potions to potions the bonus increased by 10% for each piece of the set so basically it's going to be 7 multiplied by 6 art deals additional damage to enemies affected by ear then so as you can see right here it has adrenaline point gain and it is a armor set that it's focused for a build planned to be used on potion, potions and signs. So uh, it also has some attack power, it, it has to be said that, but attack power also affects the overall attack power of your build. So yeah, mostly this build is going to be focused for using potions and using sides. On the armor in itself, this is the very first armor, the level 20. You do need to have in mind that uh, to craft these armors, you will have to be unlocking the respective areas of the game and respective armors of the game. So for example, this one, this is just a simple one. Any germ, uh, journeyman armorsmith can craft this thing as well as the blacksmith for the weapon, so not that much of an issue with that. As soon as you finish the quest and you reach Kaer Morhen, because you do have to reach Kaer Morhen to be able to craft this gear, uh, you can craft it. But as for the later one, the master crafted one, you do have to do the master crafted uh, quests for the armor and the blacksmith. Which is, uh, let me show you real fast in case you're not aware of that. There's a lot of people playing 
um, this thing for the first time, so yeah, it shouldn't take me that long. The very first quest that you would have to follow, it's the one for this blacksmith right here. You have to come to this armor and complete that quest. That is going to allow you to craft the next portion of the armor. As for the weapons, you have to come right here. Uh, it's not showing right now. Oh. Anyways, there should be a weaponsmith right here, which is Hathor um, Hanso. He should be somewhere around here. If you cannot find him, you can go over to a blacksmith that is right here and ask him to... Uh, any blacksmith, really, you can ask them to find a master crafting blacksmith. Mm, yeah, that's how you are going to, to, to get it. So now, let's move on to the next armor, which is the master crafted one. And here it is. <laughs> Were you expecting something different? Not that much with this one. What it does have is that it, it has the increase in attack power, increase in every single stat. As you can see right here, it also has more slots. So there is that indeed. In here, the art sign intensity, it is increased as well. The resistances, those are increased, all of them. And those are very important because they determine more often than not that they are more the, the more determining factor to how much damage can you resist not that much the armor in itself but the resistances that you have to it 10% sign intensity so there is indeed that and then finally ear then sign intensity so again it's just an increase now the next one this is the one that actually changes more substantially as you can see right here this is the grandmaster crafted armor like I mentioned before, to be able to craft this gear, this, those are also the Grandmaster Crafted Armor Swords. To be able to craft all of this, you have to unlock the required armors. So, for example, to craft this armor, they are very expensive, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but you can craft them once you reach the Duchy of Tuasant, right here. You have to come all over here, and this is where you will find the Grandmaster Smith. This guy has many materials, if you have the coin for it, you know, it has a coin for your witcher. <laughs> if you have the coin for it, you will be able to craft this armor, but it's very expensive. The materials that you, requ uh, that you require to craft this armor, they are very expensive. It is a very, very cool looking armor, although I'm not entirely sure that I like it that much, because it is the sign at the end of the day after uh, uh, Geralt's presentation of Henry Cavill's. So Geralt is supposed to be more slim and sinewy uh, as described in the books. It is not exactly in, in the books as well as, as in the games, but I mean, this is just too bulky for my taste. I like it, uh, but I it requires some getting used to. As for the stats, again, it's just the very same stats that I showed you previously. We do have the stat bonuses right there, the set bonuses right there that we were supposed to have. And also we have three slots, uh, rune slots for each one of the weapons. On the steel sword we have sign intensity, adrenaline point gain, critical hit damage bonus and critical hit chance, as well to chance to cause bleeding. The silver one, sign intensity, adrenaline point gain, critical hit damage bonus, 35%, that's actually quite nice. Not as high as my favorites. Critical hit chance and chance to cause bleeding, as well as three rune slots. For the armor, the chest piece, we have attack power, adrenaline point gain, the resistances, and three rune slots. For the gloves, we have art, sign intensity, resistance, uh, the resistances, two rune slots, and sign intensity, again, two rune slots and ear than sign intensity and two rune slots so i would advise for you if you're going to be a, uh, making a build out of this thing use uh ear than and art uh, signs also as well as the well not, not the sign the runes uh, focus your runes in that uh, in those signs as well as your your build for your character so yeah this is based on potion and Ireland and art so yeah 
If you like the content, you like the video, it's super appreciated. And no one has told you that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. Remember to like the video before you close the door and subscribe to the channel as well. Now this is you got them gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.